We've all seen what happens when companies that hold our personal information get hacked, and it's not just customers who worry. Small businesses have a high concern about cyber risks. They don't want to hold more personal information than they need to. Some organisations are doing away with this method and going digital. 10.5 million Australians are using MyGov ID for some government services. And there are private systems too, like Connect ID. But they don't work together. Now the government is consulting with business to bring digital IDs into the mainstream. Making it easier, essentially, to live your life online, but with the minimum amount of sharing of documents. Right now, you could be handing over lots of personal data any time you say, sign up to a new phone plan, apply for a rental property or a new home loan. Things like your passport, driver's licence, Medicare details, your birth certificate, all then stored by multiple companies. If you choose to use a digital ID, though, that information will be verified once but not stored, and it's all you'll need to prove who you are. You don't need to have my passport be sent to a rental estate agency, or you don't need to have my full driving licence sent, you just need to know that I am Andrew and I'm over 18, for example. It's also not a revival of the controversial Australia Card proposal from the 1980s. Is this like that? No, it's absolutely not like that. So it's not a new number or a new card or anything like that. Still, some people will be wary, so the system won't be mandatory. But that brings other concerns. I'm genuinely worried that the Australian population, from an ageing population perspective, is going to be left behind. There are two more weeks of consultation. The government hopes to have legislation before Parliament by the end of the year. Jane Azapardi, Nine News.